I'm Enid Kalo with your J Channel News Update. In sports, Boston's own David Ortiz will be shut down for at least five to seven days. Ortiz is suffering from inflammation in both of his heels. Last July, Ortiz suffered a small tear in his right Achilles tendon. In August, he returned from the injury only to aggravate it again. Ortiz is now reported in spring training, unable to run the bases. Officials believe that there is a slim chance he will be ready for opening day. In Maine, Governor Paula Page wants to repay Maine's $484 million Medicaid debt to hospitals. LePage is proposing to cover the debt by using bonds paid with revenues from a restructured liquor contract. He says this will help stimulate hundreds of jobs in health care and construction. But Democratic leaders say their plan to use money from the financing on the state's liquor contract is better. This is because it would not require the state to borrow money through revenue bonds. Overseas, Venezuelan opposition leader Enrique Capriles is running to replace the late Hugo Chavez. Last year, Capriles ran against Chavez and lost. According to state news, the candidate faces an uphill battle against acting president Nicolas Maduro. Last week, Maduro was sworn into office. He was Chavez's hand-picked successor. Capriles has promised to win. In local news, he's a current cardinal but could be the next pope. The Cardinals are having their last meeting inside the Vatican before tomorrow, tomorrow's conclave voting begins. And Boston Roman Catholics are especially watching carefully because there is a speculation that Boston Cardinal Sean O'Malley could be the dark horse. The 68-year-old is in Rome. Here at home, police are looking for over a dozen teenagers who assaulted an MBTA bus driver in Dorchester. Teens not only punched the driver, but also tried pulling him out of his window. But that's not all. Before the attack, another passenger threw her Charlie card at the driver during a fare dispute. The driver was rushed to Boston Medical Center, where he has been released for minor injuries. The U.S. Court of Appeals is in trouble. The court has the worst vacancy rate in history, only 7 out of 11 judges. This is because there is a partisan gridlock in Washington, and it's causing problems in federal courts across the nation. The Senate is taking very long to approve President Obama's judge nominees. Republican legislators are determined to block Mr. Obama by any means necessary, and this is affecting decisions made across our country. Now let's take a look outside for your two-day weather forecast. Today will be partly cloudy with a high of 51 degrees and a low 41 degrees for your evening commute home. Tomorrow you can expect a high of 54 degrees and a low of 41 for the evening. But you might want to grab your umbrellas because there is a chance of rain. I'm Enid Kalo and thank you for watching this J Channel News Update.